Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today's video, we're going to talk about Tales of Tenorio. Now, um, right after I made my video and it was ready for today, a few hours later on the same day, which is the time I'm recording this, we get an announcement. TLT is coming out. What day? Tomorrow. I'm going to go over that, of course, on the video. Plus, um, Lucky HD's new video that he posted. We're gonna go on through that. Um, stay tuned. Um, yeah, just wanted to mention that. Um, if you guys are curious what time I'm gonna stream, I'm gonna stream at, um, of course Sunday. Uh, probably be a probably at 2 p.m. EST, but I'm not sure about that. So you should you know subscribe with notifications on, so you are sure, so you are notified when I am streaming or, you know, be in the Discord server, etc. You know. Now, um, let's go over the release. Scrolling a little down the Discord server, you will see this. Keep your eyes peeled over the next few hours. This. And, uh, second gem badge. Yeah, we already know that, right? Okay, second, uh, third part, or whatever, you, second, whatever. Um, exciting announcement. Hello at everyone. We know... You all have been waiting patiently and understandably impatiently over the last few weeks for Tales of Tenorio's new release date. We have avoided seeing anything else since the 23rd because we did not want to give any more promises we couldn't keep. This time, however, after intensive testing and decision, tomorrow, Sunday, March 10th at 4 p.m. EST, 8 p.m. E p.m. GMT, Tales of Tenorio will be open to the public. This was 3 p.m. before, but then it it was four, um it was 3 p.m. but it was now 4 p.m. because of daylight saving time. Um, so yeah, so it was put an hour ahead. Um, we need to go ahead. Um, you will be able to play up to the second stadium for first legendary and meet over 100 plus Tenorians, 20 areas slash routes, and so much more. Over the week of launch, we will be looking at community feedback and patching in a few missing things that we couldn't include in order to get the game out to you. Most notably, of these is abilities that requires require a little more testing. The team thanks you all for your unwavering patience. And then everybody put finally. Anyways. Um hopefully there's not a delay again. It says March 10th at 4 p.m. EST. Hopefully there's no more delays. Um yeah, I'm gonna be kind of bummed out, and I'm pretty sure everybody in the stream, if any of you join, will be bummed out as well, which is totally understandable. Anyways, I'm gonna continue. Let's continue reading. Um, also, another quick little update, of course, daylight savings uh, savings is tomorrow for the U.S. time zone. So I think that technically puts the release time 4 p.m. Doubly must blame the government for continuing to force this. Haha. <laughs> I'll get B to fix message. What she did. Um, time zone fixes to your time zone. Yeah, auto converts you into your time zone. The TLT is real. A lot of you are curious about the shiny weekend plan. Here are our plans for for it. Shiny weekend will take place next weekend, March 16, March 17th. We want to ensure all of you take the time to play release, and also we want to ensure. You all get proper hunting par uh, parties, methods, etc. Figure it out before it's activated. With this too, it also just gives heaps more time to actually hunt doing it. So it's a win-win for everyone, really. Now, um, going further on the shiny part. Again, if you didn't see the previous video... 
this is uh, how you shiny hunt in the game. Or at least, you know, shiny hunt starters. So we go... You basically just join the game, leave the game, join the game, leave the game, until you get a shiny. We've already seen the starters for Rabush. That was clear. That was pink. The Like, the coat around it. The fur. This is, yeah. This will be purple. Like, the, instead of blue, it will be purple. And for the snake one, will be cold colors. Shiny, what you're going to do is press escape and leave the game. And then you're going to just play it again, and it's going to start you back at the start of that cutscene. And you just basically click through it again, and that's how you reset. And then literally from here, you just click on yep, the Yep, pretty much. There you go. Now you have yourselves a that's how you shiny hunt. Now, for Lucky HD's video, um, Tales of, for, of Tenario releases tomorrow for real this time. Hopefully, there's no delay. Hey guys, Lucky HD here, and. Again, I want to mention this. Um, the reason you should be excited, even if it gets delayed, Lucky HD will shave his head. He will leave stream with a bald head. So, regardless, if delay or no delay, it's a win win. So, I'm excited. Just to see what the outcome, either if he gets his uh, head bald, you know, shaves all his hair, or is the game is actually going to release. So either way, it's a win-win. At least I see it like that. Maybe you guys may disagree, but I see it as a win-win. You know, you read the title, you read everything. Guess what? Guess what? Tales of Tenorio is coming out. And I know, you know, you might be like, Lucky HD, this is, this is BS, okay? It's gonna get delayed again. Nah, no more delays. In this video, we're gonna be talking about everything in this Are these shown message, or not? When Tales of Tenorio is gonna be coming out, what time it's gonna be coming out, and a whole bunch more. If you guys do enjoy this video, go down there, like, subscribe, let's get straight into it. Alrighty, so over these last couple of weeks, you know, we, we've been seeing everything that everybody's been saying. You know, everybody's been sitting there saying, you know, oh, the hype for Tales of Tenorio is dead, and you know, I have lost faith and all that stuff, and all that stuff is completely understandable, right? At the end of the day, though, what we want to prioritize is just making a game for people. You know what I mean? We just want to prioritize a, a nice experience for people to go out and play this creature capturing game that we put a lot of work into. However, obviously, again, your, your complaints did not go unnoticed. There was a lot of people, and I say a lot, saying they just should not say anything at this point until they are 100% certain. And we are 100% certain. You guys might, you know, have sat there and, you know, been wondering over these last couple weeks why we haven't said anything. Again, it's literally just because we do not want to be wrong about this. We do not want to be wrong about this again. We were even thinking about releasing last weekend on last Sunday, but a Roblox issue prevented us from doing that. But again, we just did not say anything at all because, again, we didn't want to be wrong. and We didn't want to let y'all down. Okay, I'm going to let you guys watch the whole video of yourself. I don't know if I'll put the link in the description or in the comment, in the pinned comment, but either way... Go to his channel. I'm pretty sure you already know his YouTube channel. Lucky HD. So he's a community manager. If you don't know. Uh, he, long story short. He's saying that they want it to be a hundred or a thousand percent sure. And every side of their department. Quote unquote. As in like every type of group. Said that they're f they're finished. Um, so they had to make sure everything was fine. And they were sure to be able to. You know release the, ga the game. So, I, I guess that's going to be tomorrow. <sighs> but, again, um, this kind of hope it does not get delayed. But if it does, like HD will leave stream bald. He is going to stream. I don't know what time. I do want to also mention, if you watched the previous video um, that I did, it went over um, how do, would I think Tales of Tenorio could come back from this. And easily, I think it would, um, which you should check that video out if you haven't yet, um, which I think rough d uh, release date. Okay. Might get the game a little bit down, stuff like that. But if you keep the updates consistent and on time and as promised, I'm sure the community would not really care and actually play the game more. And they have updates frequently, as in like in a month or so. If you have monthly updates, or even weekly updates, that's even better. I don't like a few Tenarians a weekly, but that's a lot. But monthly updates, I'll probably get the community excited and stuff like that. 
I think they still could come back from um all this. Anyways, um, I'm gonna leave the video here. Um, it's already been ten minutes. Anyways, like, subscribe, turn on notifications, share the video, comment your thoughts on the release date. Do you think it's gonna release? Do you think it's gonna delay? Tell me down in the comments. I would like to hear your opinion. Also, it shows if you actually watched all the way to the end of the video. Or how many of you have. Um, join our Roblox group. Join our Discord. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. All that social medias are in the description. Um, we're trying to hit a thousand Discord members. So you should join. Um, Roblox outfits. You should. Uh, we are. Uh, you can purchase them if you have Robo uh, Robux. Or if you want to support the channel. You can go there. You know, you should join the, you know, the groups and stuff like that. So, you you know, you get aware and stuff like that of games or upcoming games or Tales of Tenorio. Because I think um, if the game does come out, does release, I will be making lots of videos on Tales of Tenorio. And probably try it, uh, trying to make my friends play it. Anyways, I'm going to leave the video here. I already, this has been more than 10 minutes. Um, anyways, until I see you guys next time. Make sure you stay safe and take care.